mean, I'm, I'm just here to introduce the next guy. His name is Rock Hollywood. Now, as far as I know, this chap's from England. Um, he go, he has a few slogans. I'm not actually the, the, the one who's, I'm actually the MC. It's a shout out to all you guys on YouTube, okay? Now, the reason I had to put this on YouTube, you guys, is because almost everybody in here has been, is a, co a comedian or a musician, okay? So I had to get the crowd from somewhere. So listen, I'm the MC. I'm not Rock Hollywood, okay? I'm not the comedian. I'm here just to introduce Rock Hollywood, okay? He was born in Preston, Lancashire. He's been living in Los Angeles for 20 years, okay? His website is rockhollywood.com. That's, he says it's Hollywood with an I. Hollywood without the Y, like Hollywood, but spelled differently. Rock Hollywood puts the rock in Hollywood. And without further ado, let's give him a round of applause. It's Rock Hollywood. <laughs> I've not done this too many times. One, one problem that I suffer from is I have this problem called spontaneous vomiting syndrome. Now, when I get up to do a performance, sometimes I have a little bit of nausea. So if I vomit, you know, be aware that it, when you're up, my, my performance actually improves after I settle my stomach. So if I do end up vomiting, and you have to go home and wash it off, okay, you, you, you can rest assured that you've been doing your best to support the local, local comedians. So listen, the other day I had to clean out my refrigerator. Now, that may not be a big deal to you, but my refrigerator, when I, every time I have to clean out my refrigerator, I have to call the hazardous material uh, department of Los Angeles, California. And I didn't know this, but I, I put some stuff in the, in the fridge, and when I put it in there, it was yellow. And then when I open it now, it's green. Yeah. It's like, but then, and, then it thinks to, and then I think to myself, you know what, that's how they made LSD, isn't it? Wasn't it something about some mold on a, on a thing? We, Shaquille O'Neal got bad news today. Uh, the, the, um, the NBA has instituted a fine, a thousand dollar retroactive fine for every three free throw the person has missed. After, after, um, after Shaquille consulted with a counselor, he's gonna find out that he's owing more than he's worth. So let's do this. This is a little song that I wrote, okay? In fact, really, I just wrote the lyrics. Okay, I'm just gonna give you a few bars. And the song, this song is called, I Hope That Vegas Stays in Vegas. It's the first line. There's too much desert for me. To be so far away from the sea. In a place where people drink too much. And use alcohol as a crutch. So I hope that Vegas stays in Vegas and I continue being me. Life is enough of a gamble living in the land of the free. Here's the second, here's the second one. It's the place of the drive through wedding, but who knows where that relationship is heading. And the main thing staying in Vegas is your dough. Be care careful you don't get anything itchy from a hoe. So, I hope that Vegas stays in Vegas and I continue being me because life is already enough of a gamble living in the land of the free. What time is it now? How much time do I have left? Three more minutes. Okay. Um, the, the, the reason that I'm here today is because my second ex wife divorced me. If, if my second ex wife hadn't have thrown me out of the house and divorced me, I wouldn't be here today. Um, the sponsor of today's show is the stock market. Brought to you by the stock market. Scurring the shit out of investors since the first opening bell decades ago. Ding, 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 and they're off. And it's Warren Buffett on the outside. Wait, Bill Gates is making a move. Wait, oh, they're neck and neck. Wait, uh, George, put that George Soros is making a, a shoot from the outside. It's, it's, it's a race and he's, he's the, the world's richest man. But wait, wait, Warren Buffett's making a late, a late, a late, a late drive. And, and they're neck and neck at the line. And, and it's too close to call. Oh! Donald Trump took it by a hurland. But wait, Bill Gates and uh, Bill Gates and Warren Buffett are complaining that his her is not real and that the comb over actually helped him get his his head over there for the first time, whatever, okay. Um, what time is it now? <laughs> a minute, okay. Does anybody here like the Doors? Does anybody here have any favorite Doors song? 
Let's do one, one door song before I go. Any, any doors? I'm going to sing Soul Kitchen by the doors. Well, the clock said it's time to close now. I guess we better go now. But I'd really like to stay here all night. The cars crawl past all stuck with ice. Street lights shed, they are hollow glow. Your brain seems bruised with numb surprise. Still one place to go. Okay, this is the last thing. This, this is for you guys on, on, uh, on YouTube, okay? Um, the, the website is rockhollywood.com. That's Hollywood with an I, Hollywood without the Y. I, this this is about my eighth performance. I, the first performance that I did was on the 18th of November. So, but I want to thank you guys for showing up because you know I'm doing. The only reason that I'm here today is because I want to be here. So thank you guys for showing up. Thanks thanks for this host over here because you know that's the way it is. I mean I was I was here on dude, I was here last Sunday. I was sat right over there. And one guy came out here, he anchored his performance throwing all his anger and resentment at me. Now what I learned though, what I learned last Sunday is when I you see me over there, you see that? I was quiet as a mouse. You see that? I learned last Sunday, I, you know, what I learned last Sunday is if somebody's doing a, a, a stand-up thing, okay, don't say anything. If they ask you a question, like one guy asked, one guy said um, something to the effect of why did the creek chicken cross the road? Well, the correct answer to that is you have to ask the chicken. How would I know? I mean, why did the chicken cross the road? You'd have to ask the chicken. You know what I mean? But, but so I said, I don't know why the chicken crossed the road. Now, looking back, okay, I'm not gonna do that anymore. Okay, I have a new policy. If somebody's doing a gig and they ask me something, before I open my mouth, I'm gonna verify that they ask me a question, okay? That guy over there, if, if that, that guy on Sunday, if he, he would have had a gun, he would have shot me. If you would have had a knife, you would have knifed me. Okay? So listen, all you guys, thanks for coming in, and that's it. And thanks a lot. <laughs>